GPR Detroit HD2. You're watching WHPS, Highland Park, Detroit. The views and opinions expressed on the following show are not necessarily the views and opinions of WHPS, its affiliates, management, or sponsors. Good morning. If you were looking for the weekly broadcast of Ask Welfare Rights, you've reached us once again. Uh, we were not here last weekend, uh, last Friday. Lots of stuff going on all across the country, all across the state, and uh, certainly all across this city. So we're going to try to uh, catch up and bring you some information today that uh, we hopefully you will think is important. My name is Maureen Taylor. I work with the Michigan Welfare Rights Organization, and you're about to get an official welcome from Marion Kramer, who is the National Welfare Rights Union president. So, Marion, please say good morning. Good morning, and Maureen is the president here in uh, Michigan of the uh, Welfare Rights Organization and on the board of uh, National. Uh, so anybody that you can get, at Welfare Rights, we'll be glad to help you. Uh, I want you to remember, please remember, turn your phone, your TV down, mm -hmm. and to be able for us to be able to uh, be on with you a little longer, and where we can hear you and the listening audience could hear you. That's right. Okay, the call-in numbers are 313-868-0342, Zero three five one four three three six, and the website is www.tv33whpr uh, dot, dot com. Mm -hmm. She uh, did the, it. Uh, be, All right, go don't, ahead. No, don't, don't listen to that nonsense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, again, we are happy to be here. And there's so much stuff going on. Oh yeah. Marine. Too much stuff that is idiots that are at the helm of, you know? I hear you, I hear you. It's just terrible. All right, we're going to try something here. Uh, caller, you on the air. Caller, can you hear? Caller, you on the air? Okay. Uh, the phone has gone back to uh, all... Uh, lines not working so our engineer is going to have to come out here and be on TV put his us. hands on it and, <laughs> and see if he can make it work all right in the meanwhile um, okay oh great okay That's was great. having a conversation with uh, my son the other day mm -hmm. and was talking about uh, going to the movies now that um, uh, the COVID situation has made people believe that uh, we can go out Hmm. And uh, so, you know, we watch the basketball games and the football games and nobody's wearing a mask. And, of course, the COVID numbers in uh, Michigan, I think uh, the other day, uh, it, they reported 10,400. 10,400 calls in a week. So it turns out to be about 1,700 new infections every day. You better, so, excuse me, Maureen, it, it, what they uh, put out, is usually in all, you know, here in the state of Michigan, uh, usually are not the right numbers, uh, because, you know. Uh, so, you know, we have to keep up with them. One thing we've always said in Welfare Rights is that, you know, you need to know what's going on in those other areas also. Well, I, I believe these numbers. 10,400 new infections in five mm -hmm. or six days. Uh, 1,700 new infections every day. And I, I believe that because we have too many people that don't want to wear a mask. But even b better than that, it's not better, but even more than that, 
we, we can't get our kids vaccinated. People will oh not my do God. that. They that, will that not let their terrible. kids be vaccinated, right? The poor so, child <clears throat> is innocent. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, you know, the child don't be making no decision for themselves. Well, it's this the is the parents. These are the parents, right? So uh, uh, after I looked at those kind of numbers and, and, and whatnot, and what I was thinking about is uh, uh, last time I went to the show and <clears throat> to the movie theater, and I know me and my mother used to go to the movies all the time, and I was trying to think back because it's been that long since the last time I went to the show, and Navarre was asking me, well, you know, what kind of what kind of money did it cost? Mm -hmm. I got to thinking. I said, it should be about seven dollars, seven fifty, to go to the AMC theater, AMC, and and uh, it was on the Greenfield. Uh, between 9 and 10 Mile, or it might have been on 9 Mile, between Greenfield and Southfield, but something up in that area. And the bar says, well, that's been converted over, yeah. and, and it's a, a, a store now. What? <laughs> so we got to talking about how some of these places uh, that over the years we all enjoyed, and I was telling Marion, uh, we're going to go over some information and whatnot uh, before we get to that, but stay tuned. Uh, we're going to take this call. And in a few minutes, we're going to go over some, uh, uh, take that walk down memory lane. Because it's like the movie theater, <laughs> it turned into something else. So we're going to talk about that in just a moment. But first, we're going to take these couple of calls. Good morning, caller. You are Good on morning. the air, and thank you for calling Ask Welfare Rights. You are on the air. Go ahead. Can you guys hear me? We can yes. now. Uh, okay. Uh, another thing about the shots, I think people, because you have, gotten the jab, they have a false sense of security. They yes. don't want to wear their mask. They still go into crowd crowded places. And people need to understand whether you got the jab or not, you must mask up. And you must stay distancing. And I'm seeing people crowded in bars and I mean old and young and don't have any mask on. And I just I'm like, let me just get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I love you. You're so right, Carla. Thank you so Thank very you. much for reminding us all. Uh, the co what is the statement I saw? COVID. Uh, 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 you might think COVID is through, but COVID is not through with you. And, uh, you know, with 1,700 new infections every day just in Michigan, just every in Michigan, day. every day, new ones. So, you know, it, it's just... Uh, uh, an amazing thing. So now we've got a, a judge, Marion, uh, a female judge appointed by Donald Trump in Florida. Now, you know, they've got the, the Surgeon General in Florida is that black guy mm -hmm. who says the uh, virus he thinks is a hoax. It's not really a virus. This is an African-American uh, doctor. And, of course, uh, uh, DeSantis, the governor, said, you the guy I want to be <laughs> the Surgeon General in Florida because this stuff you talking. And so here's this judge, a district judge in Florida that said, and I want you to comment on this, Marion, the CDC, Centers for Disease Control, mm -hmm. Centers for Disease Control, the head honchos for the scientists and the doctors, all your great minds, black, white, brown, all the Green great minds yellow. are working up in there. Mm -hmm. and, and the judge said that the, uh, uh, the CDC did not have permission or authorization to declare that in public places you have to wear a mask. They were not authorized to do that. The, <laughs> the doctor's group were not authorized to do that. So, you know, they made that announcement, and caller, I'm coming right to you. That announcement was made while some folks were in mid-flight, flight taking off, and, and the announcement came, so the, uh, the flight attendants announced on the plane, we just got the message that you do not have to wear a mask anymore. And, of course, people broke out into applause, some of them. And uh, uh, I mentioned this to you the other day, the flight attendant uh, president says that the flight attendants union, most of them are in favor of lifting uh, the mask requirement. 
And I thought, why would they well, be in favor of that? They the ones that yeah, they're the ones that was leading this fight. Mm -hmm. And the young lady had an excellent point. She said, we're, all of us are going to continue to wear our mask. Mm -hmm. We're not crazy. We're going to wear our mask. The pilots going to wear their mask. But we are so tired of the fist fights that break out on the planes every other day, fist fights that result in flight attendants being injured, passengers being injured, all kind of crazy stuff. So uh, uh, they took that kind of position. But, Mary, this is where we are today. This is where we are. Uh, uh, what the caller said, you don't have to wear your mask anymore. So that means to some people that's translated to say, well, if I don't have to, then I'm not going to. Same thing, if I don't have to wear my seatbelt, I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. If I don't have to put on a life jacket if I'm on a boat, I don't, if that rule is taken away, I don't have to wear a life jacket, then I'm not going to. Well, that's not going to end very well for a whole lot of people. That's not going to end. Caller, you've been very patient. Thank you for waiting, and uh, thank you for calling Ask Welfare Rights. You're on the air. Grand Rising? Uh, Grand Rising, uh, good morning. Good. How are you ladies doing this morning? Uh, good. Really? I'd like to uh, report once again, this is Linda Wheeler with the Highland Park News. Okay. Going to still talk about the uh, vaccines that are offered in Highland Park. The City of Highland Park residents and surrounding communities are offering free Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine every Monday and Wednesday, uh, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Madam Grand Rising? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Madam Grand Rising, uh, you may have to update that information. Uh, they are only offering uh, vaccines, first, second, and booster number one and booster number two, only on Wednesdays now from 2 to 8. Not Monday. Nope. And that's because the reason I know is I yeah. went Monday and, and, and couldn't get, you know, the place was locked down. I mm. went back Wednesday and got uh, my shot mm -hmm. and was told that uh, so few people are coming to the rec center. Uh -oh. The popula you know what that means. The population is dropped off. And dangerous. And, and they're only doing shots mm -hmm. now on Wednesdays. So, uh, Madam oh. Grand Rising, I want you to continue. But what this means is if people stop going to these sites to get the free mm -hmm. vaccines, soon they're going to close up shop altogether. Mm. We My goodness. That. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Madam Grand Rising. Thank Go you, ahead. And I apologize for uh, not having the current news. And mm -hmm. I apologize that it was shut down on you Monday. Mm -hmm. I will talk to the director of the department and get some further information. But it seems like you've covered all the bases. But people, please, it's so important. This is not over with. No. The vaccine, we've got the Omicron with all these variants now. Get your Pfizer, Moderna and Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine shots and boosters. We are encouraging you. And also, in one way or another, we're demanding that yes. you take care of yourself, yes. your family, and your community, because this, this ain't no joke. This no, is for not. real. Mm -hmm. This is in real time. You are this so is right. This uh, 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 fake news. This is real news. I think there were this week 73 deaths here in Michigan yes. so far from the COVID vaccine. 73. So it's, still it's still going on. Mm -hmm. And no no telling what's going to happen this summer and especially this winter. Oh, yes. So everybody, get your Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines today. Pronto. Walk-ins mm -hmm. available at the Ernest T. Ford Recreation Center, 10 Pinkett, Highland Park, Michigan. That's the Ernest T. Ford Recreation Center, a 10 picket in Highland Park. Please be uh, and, protected. And you should know, when I went Wednesday to get my shot, I, I walked right in. Mm -hmm. There was no right. waiting. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the longest I had to stay is after you get your shot. shot. Right. You have to stay 15 minutes to make certain right. that you don't have any adverse reaction. 
I was right. there with uh, uh, several nurses, very professional. I didn't and feel anything. Real nice over there. You know, All and of uh, out of there in uh, uh, 16 minutes, mm -hmm. you know, no waiting. Mm -hmm. So, Mary, what were mm -hmm. you going to say? That's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, Grand Rising, uh, uh, I want you to stress this again, the importance. You know, we had to do a lot of fighting to get right. uh, Highland Park yeah. uh, on the map right. and recognized because, you know, the meetings we were having and mm -hmm. all of this in 2020 mm -hmm. to make certain mm -hmm. that everybody in Highland Park and outside of Highland Park That's was right. able to come to the two or three centers to That's get right. uh, vaccinations. Mm -hmm. And it would be a shame if yeah, it's now been successful. Yeah, it's been very successful, very successful, you know. People from uh, sure. other cities to or come to Highland Park. We don't close no door on them. You know, no, and you don't. know, and oh, you Lord. know, take advantage of this because you going I know what's gonna happen once it's gone. Mm -hmm. Once it's gone, you are gonna be looking for one. Uh, mm -hmm. One of your children would be coming mm -hmm. home. You know, even with the question of children having their vaccination. Uh, mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. do, I, we know you love your children. But well, the love got to go deeper than that. You got to right. make sure protect you, them. Yeah. you protect them and the household. That's right. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. household. So right. uh, we, you know, let's let's do. Let come on, Highland Parkers. I'm not saying that it's only Highland Parkers. Mm -hmm. uh, come on, uh, Hamtramck and all the other mm -hmm. places around here, Detroit That's and right. what have you. Let's make sure that uh, you tell your neighbors, "I love you." But until you get that That's shot, right. we're going to have to be far apart, you know. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Because That's you right. have become uh, like a, a, a person that uh, we cannot be around. Mm -mm. So, no. all right, uh, Linda, mm -hmm. uh, so anything else you got for us? As always, Sonny's Neck Bones. Sonny's <laughs> Neck Bones, okay. Home of the Neck Bone Grilled Cheese Sandwich. You got to try it, Maureen. I love I know grilled Marion cheese. I is, is a semi-vegetarian. No, I ain't no <laughs> semi-vegetarian, but all that stuff. Marion is a meat eater. Yeah, okay. I, eat, I eat meat. <laughs> and in fact, I was telling Maureen about one. I have to get the phone number, and, and we have to go over that, Linda, and, and uh, like we used to do. Uh, well, well, wait a minute. Uh, let, let her give this, uh, uh, you know, she got to describe the food. All right, Linda. Okay, and so she have to describe yeah. the food Ooh, and get a phone number third. before you give out the beans and, 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 and cornbread and stuff. I know you were jealous you know? yesterday. Now. Nah. <laughs> Ooh, they come in beef, pork, or turkey neck bone. Okay. Why are you talking about turkey? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. And uh, if we wanted to uh, call over there, is there a number? Yes, there is. That number is 248. Two five seven zero four seven four. Say it one more time, please. Two four eight two five seven zero four seven four. That's here in Highland Park at sixteen four five five Woodward Avenue. Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, eleven a.m. to seven p.m. Okay. Uh, Grand Rising, anything new to report on the water situation and that fight going on in Highland Park? Anything yeah. new you can share? Well, for every uh, board of directors meeting for Great Lakes Florida Authority, which will be the 29th, mm -hmm. I send in a, a correspondent from the Highland Park Human Rights Coalition and the residents demanding that they uh, pay heed to the federal court order telling them that we pay over 10 times more than any city in Highland Park. I do that every month. But also, too, we just had a great meeting on the 25th of March, community meeting. Mm -hmm. um, of course, Marion was there, and we had about 50 residents. Mm -hmm. And people are standing up. They're ready to fight because that whole conversation about we don't pay our bills is nothing but one big fat lie. I told Marion uh, a week or so ago that there's a commercial that comes on TV and they're showing little uh, 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 vignettes of this elected official, that elected official, and it ends with 
And I think that's uh, the former, the previous Secretary of State, not the current one, but the previous Secretary of State making this comment. We're not trying to bankrupt the city of Highland Park. We just want them to pay their bills. And then oh, it no, I haven't seen that. Oh, I haven't Lord. seen that. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's terrible. But there's a commercial that's putting that thought out there. Go ahead, Mary. And you know that uh, uh, the, the person that's been telling, I mean, the company that has been telling all those lies about mm. us, uh, probably a, a rolling out the money for them to lie mm -hmm. on Island Park. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you be trying to tell people in the surrounding area and different people even in our area that mm -hmm. where, where the big attack has been becoming, that, look, mm -hmm. you are not under the master no more, but you right. have to free yourself and stop listening to the lies and let's go and let Great Lakes Water Authority no, mm -hmm. no, that we're not just going to take this. We're not taking this no more. No, we're not. No, no we're it, not. It, because, mm -hmm. again, if you don't support the fight in Highland Park against That's Great right. Lakes and all of them, uh, you're going to get up one morning and you, you definitely mm -hmm. are not going to have water like we mm -hmm. used to have. Mm -hmm. Okay, Grand Rising, mm -hmm. uh, uh, anything else we need to hear about in terms of Highland Park? Well... On a sad note, one of our teachers, retired teachers, Ola Allen, passed this week. Ola and Allen? And that's a Highland Parker, knows Ola Allen. She was a lovely woman and a lovely teacher, and she taught so many students here in Highland Park in Detroit, and she's passed this week. And we want to salute her, uh, give condolences to her family and friends, and know that we will love her, and may she rest in power. Okay. Okay, we need to uh, find out once the family makes uh, arrangements. arrangements, you know, uh, need to know when, you know, when they get that together, to let us know, and we sure will talk about it over the air. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. All right, will. Madam Grand Rising, thank you uh, always, thank you. as always. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, have a wonderful and a safe day. You as well. All yes. right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. All right. Thank now, uh, Marion, um, I, okay, I mentioned it, uh, I think I mentioned it the week before last, uh, the uh, FEMA slash COVID yeah. um, funeral cost folks have been on the air. Mm -hmm. I saw them for about two days. And they're talking about the very limited number of people that took advantage of monies that were uh, made that were set to the side in this state and made available for uh, funeral costs. Mm -hmm. And you know we had uh, uh, Reverend Annie, and uh, you know, had a tough time with COVID, mm -hmm. and, and so many folks uh, 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 unexpectedly having to burial family, having to bury families and uh, their family and friends. So this number came out. And I've got the number today. You can get up to seven, no, nine thousand dollars in funeral cost, mm -hmm. if, even if you've already paid that, and you you would have had to already pay it anyway. And uh, what you have to have is a death certificate that indicates this person passed away as a result of complications connected to COVID. They have to be in this country when they pass away. And I thought, okay, that's interesting. If you were someplace else. Uh, visiting relatives in the past, you wouldn't qualify for this one. And uh, let me see, you had to have their certificate and you had to have that. And uh, the other thing I was thinking about is whether or not you need receipts. Well, I got to thinking about that. You don't need a receipt. Uh, what you do need is a statement from uh, the funeral director where you went, and that funeral director should write a... a uh, um, a verification letter that says this person was buried at our facility on such and such a date, and here's the cost, because it's flowers. It might be uh, uh, to dig the grave. It could be, you know, the embalming activity. And so <clears throat> folks that are interested in being reimbursed, which is what I would guess our families would want us to do. Let's go and get that and try to move forward and try to stay mm -hmm. alive. The area code, 
888-646-6333. Once again, the number is, and this is for COVID reimbursement federal costs, uh, 844-684-6333. Now, I had somebody to ask me, what if I had to uh, fly a cousin or, you know, this is the mother that passed or the dad that passed. Mm -hmm. And two or three of the sister, or two or three of mother or dad's kids, lived in another state. You get the a bill that indicated how much you had to spend to bury mom or bury dad, and if your brother had to spend three hundred and sixty dollars for the flight, you got the money to give it back to him. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, one more time, Eric Cove eight four four six eight four. Six three three three. Now I also have, uh, you know, people are calling up now because um, uh, they're thinking that the Sarah program that we've been talking about for a good year and a half now, and that's C E R A COVID Emergency Relief Assistance. Uh, the governor just put some more money in the Sarah program because she recognizes that there are a lot of people that still need financial assistance uh, with their uh, a mortgage, with their uh, a rent, and with their lights and gas and water. Mm -hmm. So the, co the Sarah number is area code 313-322-6222, uh, 322-6222. And the, if you have yeah. a, a computer, they can go right on the computer and... And you I'll can look it up, it. Uh -huh. uh, fill out the application online, www.cera forward slash uh, uh, Michigan dot gov or something like that. And you know. they have people to help you, you know, to fill out those applications, you know. So don't let, don't sit around and let uh, that uh, pass over you and you know that you don't have people to that got money and stuff like that or you don't have no money to do what is necessary to take care of the need that you had when someone passed away. Well, now, so. now, now uh, well, we're talking about bills now, mm -hmm. okay? But uh, uh, you can get help starting from whenever you apply, and they'll go back 12, 12 months. months. They'll well, go back that. 12 months. Yeah. And then from wherever you start the application, back 12 months, then they'll go ahead three months. So, you know, because uh, it may take you a little time to catch up. So, you know, it just doesn't make sense that people don't want to get involved in the process. You and the landlord, you and the mortgage company, you and the bank enter into this uh, uh, together. So it, it just doesn't make sense if you don't go get this help. You know, I'm not understanding why you won't go get it because these are your tax dollars. These are your dollars. And it's being offered to us for once in a while, you know. Once in a lifetime, that doesn't happen. So I wanted to mention the Sarah program. And uh, people are calling uh, about uh, uh, not being able to find affordable housing. And, you know, we've been talking about this in welfare rights for a long time now. And now there are commercials on TV, Marion, about the, um, the uh, smaller and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking numbers of affordable housing in metropolitan Detroit. So a person that used to be paying 650 a month for their apartment, uh, they get a notice in the, in the mailbox and the landlord is going up and now it's an additional $150 and you didn't get a $150 raise. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, uh, Cunningham, Mr. Cunningham, has yeah. been telling us about just not being able to find affordable apartments, affordable homes. He's been talking about this for a long time. And now uh, on the TV, the press is starting to bring this up. Mm -hmm. uh, Marion and I are going to uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, to uh, participate in the Poor People's Campaign and March Against Poverty. We're going there on the uh, 18th of June is when the march is. And uh, what we're trying to do is uh, we've already requested the appointment. Don't have a confirmation yet, but we're in the process. The Friday before the march, <clears throat> we have requested that a few of us from welfare rights that are going mm -hmm. to D.C. get 30 minutes with Marsha Fudge. Now, who is Marsha Fudge? 
Marsha Fudge is the HUD secretary. HUD is Housing and Urban Development. And we have requested 30 minutes to get with her and talk about the terrible Situation. stuff that that's Ben Carson, who was director of HUD, and he mm -hmm. shut down so many programs that affected seniors. But how the housing market is just inaccessible for folks who are at modern and low income. And we want to talk to her about that. And uh, the folks that we're taking, uh, Marion, I don't know if I said this to you or not, but uh, I want her to sign you and I up and uh, uh, Mary BJ if she's going to go She'll and uh, whoever else we're going to take. And uh, the two people that are going to be on uh, the Zoom back in Detroit is Sylvia yeah. and Fred. Fred. And yeah. we're going to talk to uh, Secretary Fudge uh, while we're on our way out the door. Give me the application for the Section 8 certificate. I, I plan guess. on leaving D.C. with Section 8 certificates. Oh, for, you know, know if, if she don't have it, we gonna stay. Yeah, we gonna stay on. Mail it to because us. the woman it's when crazy. when they when they elected this lady to be, serve, uh, you know she she was talking good. Yeah, and we're gonna make sure she keep talking good on this by letting her know what is happening here. Yeah, the pain on the ground yeah. uh, as far as people not only just in Michigan but other places. I know throughout our membership of. Uh, where national welfare rights, mm -hmm. local, all our welfare rights group uh, are participating and fighting against, you know, and that is that you should have the right to have uh, utilities shut on, you know, uh, you should, and you should have the right to be able to get the same amount of money uh, for these different states that happens, uh, uh, you know, that they're polling out, Maureen, they ain't thinking about the people that uh, here suffering, uh, you know, and we and we care about what's happening to the people, even in in uh, uh, Ukraine and everything else, you know. But that who's make who's getting who is getting the money for all that? I can talk about who's not getting and no we help. We know the people <laughs> themselves uh, and I the financial help and in, in uh, you know this question of housing that we've been working on off and on for a long, long time. And it's getting worse and worse, and you know it's getting bad when uh, folks on the def on the uh, different uh, television channels, local and national, national, start talking about the impossibility of finding affordable housing. So you know, uh, uh, grandparents in their 80s have to move in with the grandchildren, and in order to and, live and, you know, in, in order to live. Mm -hmm. And let me say this other thing: I looked at that, and you know, I just don't know what to say, uh, Mary. You know, I talk about this all the time, and you criticize me. But I tell you, boy, the working class sometimes is as dumb as a bag of wet hair. Just dumb. Just damn dumb. You know, the, one of the largest growing groups in, across the board in all of these ga online gambling, telephone oh, yeah. gambling, computer gambling, one of the largest growing groups a senior citizens, yes, gambling away their social security, gambling thinking they away their SSI, thinking they're gonna uh, uh, dumb. be able to go in there and and, oh. uh, and make their millions. That, oh, you know, it, it, they it's don't just, understand that the, those they control though. They being the people oh. that own the stuff, control the com uh, the computer that kicks that that so called uh, fifty dollars that you might have won. At the at the gambling place. Now, Mary, have you ever been to Las Vegas? No, I, I never had. You okay. know, my children have, but I have never had the taste to go to Las oh, Vegas. Oh no, I've been there several times. You ever been to Reno? Uh, no, I didn't never okay. go there. I'd see, I wouldn't. Those, I wouldn't be interested in that. See, show. those gambling places are. I mean, they it, it's it's live entertainment. And it's I've been to Vegas three or four times. All around, all around it, not inside. I know but uh, all man, uh, I've been to Las Vegas several times, and I like to go there and and stay in the same place because the hotel accommodations yeah, the in place. Las Vegas uh -huh. are very inexpensive. Because mm -hmm. see, they don't want you spending all your money on hotels. Yeah, the know. cost. They, they want you to do. go downstairs and they want you to play that slot machine, mm -hmm. and they want you to pay uh, play that uh, them cards. 
and all that stuff. But I've been there many times, and at night, you know, I don't even know if they have robberies in Las Vegas. I guess they do. No, they got a whole police department. Well, I'm saying the all they do is gamble there. That's all. And so a person that goes there, that's what the movie Ocean's Eleven was about. They pulled the big heist and robbed the of Flamingo yeah. and the Star and all those places. But I'll tell you, I've been in there, and they're fabulous. And I went up to the slot machine and got my stuff together. And the agent came over. This a long time ago. And said, "Are you ready? Yeah, this is. I haven't. I don't come here that often. Okay. Well, anything you need." And she come back with a with a drink I didn't order and some water and a little <laughs> a little bowl of fruit. They, they will do everything, that. man, to uh, encourage you. And I was a big gambler, big time. And I had uh, ten dollars worth of quarters, and that was it. <laughs> that was gonna be it. Well, so I had those quarters and put that quarter in there. Oh, and if somebody would walk by, oh, you almost got it. That's supposed to encourage me to keep going. This roll of quarters was it. I know. So I had already uh, uh, broke even, and more than that, because I had a drink. I had several uh, bottles of water with uh, um, uh, different Holly Hollywood stars' pictures and stuff on it, and I had a bowl of fruit and some chips and some popcorn, and after that, uh, I think I won about $8.00. So I was in good shape, and I got up, got ready to leave, and people say, well, wait a minute, where are you going? Look like you want to roll. Well, here's some extra uh, 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 tokens for you. I said, well, okay. I sat down with their tokens and put it in there, and hit that spot. Oh, okay. Uh, Tim is out here cracking up. Oh, he's telling you to move up. Uh, she knows. She loves his chair, you know. Uh, so it was so funny. So, you know, they don't want you to leave. And then all throughout, and I mean, it is fabulous looking. And all throughout you hear ding, 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 ding. And that's what it sounds like oh, when somebody wins. So they do the ding, 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 ding all over the place all the time. Thank you. You're so, going to win. Yo, well, I might as well stay longer because somebody won. Might be you. <laughs> so they showed up with the free tokens. I put them in there, won about 10 or 12 more dollars, got ready to get up. Wait, wait, wait. This is your third time. You know what they say, the third time is, is the luckiest. Okay, you got some more tokens? Yes, we do. Give me another one. Mm -mm. Ding, 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 ding. Everybody else winning. I'm looking. I've only spent my 10 and got eight back and won about 20 more. Put on my sunglasses, and that was it. Nobody else came well, over to offer me, well, you know, no tokens and nothing else. But the uh, one, yeah, I remember when you said, you know, after thinking, yes, I, Annie Smart and myself and <coughs> a lot of other people in welfare rights were, check this, gave us, said, y'all go to this place in somewhere in uh, up in New York or something like that, or uh, and we went. They gave us money in case we you know, to feed ourselves and whatever. Then the, it was the homeless. They put their stuff together to send us because they were so, they wanted to show, you know, tell us, take a break because y'all ain't been out here with us. What happened was all the so-called people that know what they were doing that was in that caravan with us went and, uh, you know, got their little chips and everything they needed. And Annie and I was playing the ding, ding, ding. Not the ding, 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 but we were playing slot, the slot machine. machines. Yeah. And uh, we kept looking at a lot of them. They said, we don't have no more money. I said, that's a shame. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we're so sorry to hear And that. so Annie hit, and we had a little more money, and she took it over, and we ended up with um, $50 or more. And who do you think ended up with having the money to take us back to where we had came from, mm. Annie and I. We had well. to put all those people in that, that the, uh, the car that we were in to try to get everybody back that came there with us. Because they spent all their they traveling money. They spent all their money. You, and, you, and Annie you, and I had You said, were a better member than me because they would have been staying right there hey, where they were. They We didn't <laughs> pay for their stuff. No, but uh, they wouldn't have been. No, they didn't spend uh, up all, all your money. All their money you know, was spent thinking that they were going to hit the big ball that night and everything. Now, 
Now, uh, you remember when uh, uh, I used to take uh, the kids from Brewster Douglas and we went on yes. two or three summers mm -hmm. in a row. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, one of those times, uh, 30, 40 uh, uh, public housing kids <laughs> rented a bus. Who, what was the bus company? Will, Will Mac. Mac. Remember Will yes, Mac? Yes, that was I, our bus. Oh, boy, that was, that was our crew. So we hired Will Mac and went to the tour wherever else we were going, but we were going to end up in uh, Canada. And uh, uh, that was 30 years ago. And going across the bridge, and when we got to the Canadian side, I'm taking these kids to the Windsor Casino. Casino. All right, mm -hmm. I want them to look at it. And we get over to the other side, and the, the Canadian uh, uh, toll booth people said, these kids don't have passports. Oh, I didn't think of that. You ain't got no passport either. Huh? I didn't think of that. So, you know, I said, well, you know, you, you, you can't go. And I told them, you know, this is a visual tour with these kids. You know, I just wanted them to go say that they stepped into another country. Can they at least, uh, uh, sir, they're very nice, get off and just touch their feet to the ground to say that they went to another country. And he got on the little bus and looked, and all the little kids' eyes all big, you know, 14, 15, 16, yeah. 17 years old. And he looked. He said, the Windsor Casino is, you going to let us go over there? He said, yeah, because they're not going to let you in, so you be right back. <laughs> so, okay. So our driver got the instructions. It's not that far from no, uh, right, uh, there, uh, yeah, but, right uh, there at the bridge. bridge. So uh, uh, we went over there. The driver parked. We got out. And uh, it's fascinating, the Windsor Casino, the, the sidewalk around the place, because we walked around the entire thing, took us an hour, hour and a half. And the sidewalk is black tar, all right, and little flicks Flick. of what looked like diamonds mm -hmm. in it. And, oh, my goodness, they were nuts. I was nuts. We walking around. Here comes security <laughs> out of the Windsor Casino. I explained, well, we're just showing these kids what casino th situations look like. Those look like windows up there. Are those really windows? He said, no, they are designed to look like windows on the outside because there are no windows in the casino. The kids go, w w why? Because we don't want you to know how much time has passed by while you were in this place. Mm -hmm. And so they come back and brought us ink pens and all kind of promotional stuff, you know, uh, uh, thank you for visiting the Windsor Casino. And, of course, all of this was to put in their minds, right. once you get to be a grown-up, don't forget to come over here so you can see how good we treated you. But we walked around, and I don't know, they gave us some other stuff. I don't remember. Might have gave us a sandwich, a hot dog, a hamburger, something like that. But it was fascinating. But the whole Vegas piece, the whole Reno piece, uh, Marion going up to uh, 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 upper New York, and the money oh, that fun. is uh, generated in these casinos, and talking about the three we got right here. Mm -hmm. You know, how is it, it that the little city of Detroit was able to get three casinos for all these years we fought against all that kind yes, of stuff? We you, fought know? Against it. you know? Oh, uh, okay. Now, I but raised that. You see her, Maureen. The mayor. I don't care what people say, and I'm going to say what I want to say on the mayor of the city of Detroit. Can't give y'all back to your taxes that was stolen by them, uh, but they, they can support the casinos, they can support Dan Gilbert and all the rest of those folks. You know, folks need to wake up Too and late say... For that. Wait, no, it's not too late. They ain't gonna ain't wake up. never too late. They ain't gonna wake up. Uh, wake up and understand that this is on your back. That's right. They that this, deep this sleep. is de uh, de mm. you dealing with it. And a lot of people, I know y'all don't like what Maureen and I say. To hell with it. And They're in a deep it. sleep. And can't it, figure it, stuff out. Can't even. You know? But you can call and say, I need to get my food stamps. Mm -hmm. And did you see, I want to say, the speaking of food, food stamps, stamps, go ahead. That's what, mm -hmm. um, did you see on the news this morning uh, where they were uh, interviewing one of the people that had participated in that activity of getting rid of our, uh, our uh, governor? Hmm. And, and they had said something about um, he, you know, he. They still uh, having uh, this particular man. I caught the uh, the end of it. You know, he's supposed to still 
be being um, interrogated. Talking about running for uh, 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 no. somebody running for governor? No, they they were talking about the ins the what they had done around the question of killing her. You know. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. No, I didn't see that. So, I, so, so th he's supposed to be back there on Monday because he's still, you know, that this guy is still being. Um, uh, you talking about examined. some of those folks who are still in jail? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, it's still being uh, investigated. I mean, still being yeah, uh, investigated. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I, I looked at him, and you look at his face. He was proud to be a part of that group, talking about killing the. Killing a woman. Killing this woman that has done more for Michigan than the rest of the governors historically. You know, not you know, the woman the woman's been on not only our governor has been on been out there fighting for the interests of poor people. Well now now uh, I tell people all the time that her name is Gretchen. Mm -hmm. It's not Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you may not agree with everything that she's doing, and you you know we're not going to agree with everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to uh, suggest that the Democratic Party is all that. Not saying that, but this governor took upon herself to get into a fight very recently with Republicans and demanded and signed into law additional food stamps she, for she folks that are already that getting. Republic. You know, for folks that are already getting food stamps, yeah. uh, you got an additional amount. And I looked at it again. That's what I forgot and left it in the car this morning. Uh, I was going to read it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's $95 per person per month. So if you got three kids, 95 times three, you got an additional whatever that amount is, mm -hmm. plus the food stamps you have already. And that amount that you have already, Marion, does not get decreased. The reason for that is she says the inflation rate is so, so bad, bad. Yeah. people can't uh -huh. afford food like right. they used to be able to afford food, so they might need a little bit more money. She's trying to get this for three months, for May, June, and July. It's already started. Already some of it is retroactive. And we got Republicans fighting 40 going north they don't to wanna, say, won't give people no, nothing. People should, welfare women, poor or low-income women, they should be able to and proud to work for food stamps. But your, your oh mayor my goodness. and some of the other mayors around here and some of the city council people in these various areas and what have you, they, they will talk about poor people. Well, don't talk about the facts that they, they are being robbed around in these places. I mean, you it's know, just outrageous. It's, it's, it's sickening. So that's the food on. stamp piece. Uh, uh, and there was something feed. else. You'd rather to see people die more really hungry for, because they don't, they don't have, have no people. food. Well, uh, you remember what that guy, that spokesman, his name was George something from the Water Department a long time ago. He said the people in Michigan don't get ill from having their water turned off. And then he I said, people it. in me, yeah. remember that guy? Mm -hmm. And then he said, people in Michigan, especially in Michigan, uh, they don't uh, have a problem uh, with hunger and starvation. They may not be able to eat what they want to eat, but they don't have a problem with being hungry. And we don't have any kids that, that go to mad. bed what at night. What would make you, know? you mad? Just hungry. And they don't care. Hmm. You know, all of these big agencies, Oxfam and all these uh the pyramid organization that does these studies Canada. all the time about poverty and about hunger and all this kind of stuff and and how bad it is uh, thank you and how bad it is in this state and they just ignore it you know yeah. that, you, you know ain't nobody in this place you know got mm -hmm. uh, any kind of problem and this is the way Marie yeah man they they move to get rid of a lot of us. Well, this is your a way to make you think it's your fault. Your food, it, yeah. something you doing wrong. Yeah, uh -huh, something you yeah. Yeah, you I know. Didn't, I, you know, when we have told them over and over again about we want our water back in Highland Park. They're not listening to you. No, they they don't want to listen. listen to But you know Park one thing Human we Rights have to Coalition. say about Linda. Linda, each each time that meeting happens mm -hmm. with Great Lakes, she is up there reading the same thing mm -hmm. that we all uh, agree on. You know, and we're gonna keep you know supporting that and what Linda is doing and what uh, the you know 
uh, the mm-hmm. rest of us are, that's a part of it be doing. You know, we can't. You, you have, have to just keep what? going. Yeah, you have to keep doing it. You, you and know? I have been out here fighting around the water. How long? And oh, how you long? have to sit up here, dear. How long, <laughs> Maureen? How, how long? long? That was in 2000. And Yvonne Delk. How long? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. people still don't believe. That they uh, that this they're that, in danger of they, having <laughs> they they have to fight for this water. This is our water all day. Uh, okay, we're down to about our last five minutes. Uh, uh, folks that are calling me and caller, I'm coming right to you. We're almost uh, done uh, with our program for the day. Those of you that are looking for affordable housing, uh, looking for Section Eight rentals, looking for apartments and or houses and or townhouses, call. Satisfaction Realty, area code 248-424-8825, area code 248-424-8825. Mary, we'll take this uh, last call for the day and uh, get us set up to say goodbye. Caller, you're the last caller of the day. Go ahead. Caller, you're on the air. You guys hear me? Yes, yes. we can hear you now. Oh, okay. Uh, I just wanted to say the poverty uh, creators are some real sick haters. And uh, you heard about them going after Reverend Pickney. The state troopers are yes. harassing him now. Yeah. Now again. Yeah. That's how this yeah. works, caller. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, you know, you can't fight for rights and you can't fight against the poison. What can you do? Uh, there it is, caller. Mm-hmm. Thank you for saying it. Later. All right. Now, okay. thank you. All right, Mary, we're down to our last two minutes now. Uh, A dear friend of mine called. I'm tearing up thinking about it, and I'm only going to mention it briefly here. And started uh, talking about his diabetes. And uh, a month or two ago, we were wondering where he is. He lives out of state. He had all five toes on his right foot amputated. Mm -hmm. And there's a commercial on TV where there's a woman that talks about having her toes amputated. Yeah, and uh, the yeah. message uh, for all of us is we have to, uh, maybe we can get a doctor to come in or call in and talk about ways to avoid being diabetic. We have to change the mm. way we live. You know, I mean, cigarette smoke, out. Uh, Cigar smoking, that. out. Mm-hmm. All that kind of stuff. You know, we have to change the way we live. Okay, so Marion, you got about uh, 30 seconds to say goodbye. Uh, I hope. You would get on with one of us or uh, all of us and say, I'm ready to come out there with y'all in this fight that we have to have with these folks that can do whatever they want to, shoot people in the backs, and and, and people walk away and say that, uh, you know, they're not guilty. But yet and still, you let one of the, of the low-income people end up trying to... Uh, maintain their homes, maintain their kids, being able to eat and all that type of stuff, and you end up shooting someone because they're trying to get in your home, then that person is going to end up in jail. But you killing us all the time. Uh, I hope we see you next week, and I hope that in seeing you next week on this program, you uh, begin to become active. Uh, call us at Welfare Rights, 313-964-0618, 313-964-0618. Uh, go to your computers or go to Welfare Rights and call us about these details yes. connected to additional food stamps. Uh, call us about uh, the different programs that are being offered Uh, including help with lights and gas, rent, and mortgage. Uh, Marion, the MyHoff program, which was the Michigan Housing Assistance Fund, uh, uh, too late to be able to apply for that uh, to get back taxes. So that program is ended. And when I checked last week, a record number of people got down to the different places where you signed off for that program, and people were being asked, well, where did you find out about it? And they said they watched a program uh, with Marion and Maureen on Fridays. And they heard about it here and went to uh, the different locations and did fill out the applications around the My House program. So 
Uh, for those of you that did fill out the paperwork, I hope you're lucky. The folks that did not you won't be able to get any help from that door, but let me open the other yeah, door, and that's that CERA program, C-E-R-A, COVID Emergency Relief Assistance. And you can deal with COVID by calling 313-322-6222. Oh, yeah, and that's the other thing. Uh, Ted Phillips and them are still doing um, – a rearage uh, mortgage things. Mm -hmm. They're still working on that kind of uh, 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 information. That's I bring Michigan with me. Legal Services. You know. Mm -hmm. So no, no, <coughs> no. Uh, United mm -hmm. Housing Coalition. Yeah. What yeah. else? Is it? Michigan Legal Services. That's Maryland and no. them. All right. So all right. You know what to do. Our number three one three nine six four zero six one eight. Lord willing, the creek don't rise. Marion and I will be back here again next uh friday and next friday we didn't get a chance to take that trip down memory lane but we're going to talk about the grand circus theater the adams theater the madison theater the palms theater and see if somebody else can remember number five all right mm -hmm. lord willing creek don't rise we will be back next friday bye bye, bye.